Today, we're making breakfast sausage. So if you're a fan of fried patties or sausage gravy, and you love sausage links, stay tuned because this recipe is up next. Here I've got about 8 pounds of pork cushion meat. It comes from the shoulder region of the pig, and at $1.88 a pound I couldn't resist the price. There are some fattier portions on both sides of the cushion meat, which is good, but sometimes you've got to buy more fat to reach the 30% fat ratio you need to make sausage, and ironically, it's more expensive than the meat. And I'm not going to use all of this meat for this recipe, but we need to be precise, so we're going to weigh it. This portion weighs two pounds. I'm going for three, so we're going to cut off another piece, add it to the scale, and voila! we're good to go. And the pork fat I bought is just over a pound, so we'll go ahead and use all of it. Now we just need to cut portions that my meat grinder can handle. Something like that should do nicely. Cut the fat up into strips as well. All of this combined should give us about four pounds of sausage. Now if you've been following me for a while, you probably remember my KitchenAid my wife bought me second hand. It's lasted about seven years now. Picked it up for $90. I then purchased a meat grinder attachment, once again second hand, got it for 10 bucks. As you can see it cranks out this meat no problem, and I didn't spend hundreds of dollars to get it done. But once it is done, you're going to need to season it. So here's my recipe. Brown sugar, get that all pressed down. Now this is salt, garlic powder, curing salt, and MSG. You don't have to have the curing salt or the MSG, but I'm using it. Dried thyme, dried parsley, ground sage, ground coriander, ground clove, red chili flakes, and black pepper. And I like to mix this up in my mortar and pestle, get it all ground up. Just like this. And as you can see, it gives us about a half cup of seasoning, which is the perfect amount for four pounds of sausage. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of vinegar and a little bit of dark corn syrup, which gives it a sweet molasses flavor. And as a binder, you should add dry skim milk, which will be listed with all of the exact ingredients on my website. Now just mix everything together. And when it's done, you'll notice that the colors changed quite a bit. All those ingredients really took its toll here. But we need to ferment it a little bit and marinate it in the fridge, so we're going to cover it up overnight. Now I decided to go ahead and make a test patty. I'm going to go ahead and throw that in a hot pan. But I'm sure you know how to cook sausage, so we'll just skip here to the end. See that nice, juicy caramelization on there? Beautiful. Ooh, nice and tender. And that pink tone you're seeing in there, that's not undercooked. That's from the pink salt. I'm going to smoke the majority of this recipe and that pink salt, curing salt, protects you from botulism. And if you're like me, you like to cook a skillet of that ground sausage, mix it in with eggs or maybe a gravy. I mean who doesn't love a good sausage gravy? Now you're gonna have to check out my recipe for my buttermilk biscuits. Now I'm not showing you how to make links today but I cranked out about 10 of them and had about a pound left over to make that sausage gravy. And this sausage is excellent smoked on a grill. And there you have it. Breakfast sausage right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.